There's a big one, guys. Holy smokes. That's a big fish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello, everyone. If you're new around here, my name is David Krause. My wife and I make hunting and fishing content on YouTube. Today, I'm doing a little bit of brown trout fishing. So let's get to it. This summer, I plan on fishing a lot of new areas and trying a lot of new tactics. Starting today, I've got this little streamer here. I'm gonna start throwing some streamers probably. I've got some soft plastics. I've got some stick baits. I have some spinners. I've got a, just a good variety. And I want to um, broaden my techniques for catching trout. So water feels really cold. I'm at a new, new river, new stream, totally new area for me. That's another thing that I'm gonna do this summer is I'm gonna try to fish only new areas and new water. There's so much water in the state of Michigan. There's really no need to fish the same stuff over and over. And so this summer, that's my plan is to fish all new stuff. There's one. That was an awesome hit. Oh, jeez. It's going everywhere. Oh. Hey. First fish on the streamer ever. How neat is that? Crushed it. Man, these fish are strong and fast in here. Well, there you have it. All right, I already caught one fish out of this hole with a streamer. So now I've got a, I think this is a Kalen's jig head. One of the rattling jig heads. I think it's a glow in the dark rattling jig head. And then I've got like a three and a half inch, you know, little rubber minnow body on there. I'm just gonna kind of bounce this along the bottom up in there. I think this is a little heavy. There's one. There's a big one, guys. Holy smokes. That's a big fish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Real big fish. I'm gonna have to go under this log right here. Mm. Real big fish. Pinned it. Oh, Pinned it Pinned it on that soft plastic. Oh my goodness. Oh my guys. That's a real big fish. A bit chaotic here right now. Oh my goodness. Oh my, that's a big fish. Oh my, wish I had somebody on the net right now. Oh.
Okay, 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 easy, easy. This fish has got a lot of fight in it. Got it. Oh, yes, that's a big fish. That's a real big fish. In the net, look at the spots, that's a pretty one. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Holy smokes, guys, that's a nice one. That's a big fish right there. Real big female. Absolutely awesome fish right here. Give you guys a good look at her. Man, what an awesome fish. those I mean it's just covered covered in spots that is a leopard fish right there that's what that is well this is exciting you guys have probably noticed this from my videos but I don't typically catch a lot of fish in holes uh, usually I catch them in the runs but the water is just it's so cold I should see how cold it is I don't know it's freezing so the fish have been acting a little bit lethargic. It's been really cold at night. We've been getting frost. We're into mid-May still. 51 degrees. That kind of explains it a little bit. These fish are acting very lethargic. Well, water's really cold. Well, they're not really in their summer feeding spots. They're not up in the runs yet. Um, they're still in the holes. But that was super cool. Um, see if we can catch some more tore up my bait a little bit but yeah this is my setup here this is a glow in the dark uh, maybe a 316th i'm not sure what size kaylin's rattling jig head with the berkeley power bait on there today i am using the fluger president xt size 30 i've got the daiwa spinmatic ultralight six foot rod here this is my backup rod my good one right now is being worked on i broke off one of the uh eyelets on there so you really don't need a bunch of fancy stuff or expensive stuff to do to go trout fishing. The one piece of equipment I would really strongly suggest would be a rubber net. Let me pull mine off real quick and I'll show you. All right, you don't have to get this exact same one, but this is a really nice one. It's got a real big deep hoop. Um, it's really nice for those, you know, 18 to 20 inch um, brown trout. It's great size for that. So this is made by O Pros. If you want to buy anything from them i'll have a link in the description click on that and then when you check out use kraus outdoors 15 to get 15 percent off at checkout so they do have a discount code for us um i do love this net this is the six inch handle they've got a few different oh this is the nine inch handle excuse me they do have a few different um sizes on there but this is the one i like and then i just run a magnet on it and it snaps to the back of my um my wading vest so as I stated, you don't need a bunch of fancy stuff. Fishing pole with some six or eight pound line and a couple of spinners will do the job. But I've got way more invested into it than that. Obviously I've been doing it for quite a while, so. Oh, that's a good one. Calm down. These streamer bites are fun. Well, everybody, thanks for tagging along with me. It's time for the long trek back to the vehicle. As always, when you fish a good spot, you walk way farther in than what you anticipated on. So 
now I've got a long walk back to the vehicle, but that's okay. It was fun. It was awesome finding some good fish and using some different baits. I'm really excited for this summer. It's going to be a lot of fun. So if you guys want to see some more videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I will see you in the next one.